So today we're looking at some of the official cases for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We've got the silicone case, the clear case, the leather case, and the silicone grip case. And I've also got the official screen protector from Samsung as well. I'll leave a link in the description of the video with current pricing and more information. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Now the leather case comes in three different colors, green, black, and the one shown here is camel, or as I like to call it, brown. On the inside, it's got a softer, felt-like material, a little bit harder material there on the outside. Still sort of a soft touch material though, and it seems pretty rigid as well, doesn't really bend much. Pretty simple to just snap right into place. Style-wise, actually looks really nice on here, I think. Nice cutouts for the cameras and the flash on the back. Then you can see the power and volume buttons are covered by a similar color, just slightly different than the brown or camel color. Super clicky on the buttons as well. You barely have to push them for them to work. Now there's not a lot of screen protection there on the side. Definitely plenty on the top and bottom. I'd kind of like to see maybe a hair more on the sides, but it's gonna make it easier to use with it being lower like that. Now you shouldn't have any problems if you put this face down. You just gotta be sort of careful there on the edges because there's not a lot of protection. But you have to remember with curved screens like this, they can really only go up so high before it interferes with how you're using the phone. I also noticed there's two spots on the sides. Kind of makes the leather look like it's wrinkled a a little bit but overall I really like how this one looks nice oversized cutout for the charging port and it feels like it's pretty easy to get the S Pen in and out of this case small Samsung logo there down towards the bottom with the case on it weighs 268 grams or 30 grams for the case itself and of course it works with wireless charging as well Now the entire clear case is a hard plastic shell and it's a pretty tight fit here. Power and volume buttons are covered by a softer TPU material. They have a little bit of clickiness to them, but overall they seem to work pretty good and they stick out far enough so you can feel where they're located without actually looking. Now as far as screen protection goes, to me it looks like it's less on this one than on the leather case. You can see it's just a little bit below the curve on the sides. Plenty of protection on the top and bottom though, so you don't have to worry about this getting all scratched up if you put it face down. It's got a little bit of text here on the side where it says designed by Samsung, made in China. You can see there's an extra large cutout here on the bottom for the charging port, SIM card, and speaker. Pretty easy to get the S Pen in and out as well. So it weighs 268 grams with the case on. Man, this one is a super tight fit. Hopefully if you put this case on, you don't have to take it off very often. Cause yeah, this one is really tight on there. The case itself weighs 34 grams. Overall, pretty nice case. Just a little bit hard to get back off the phone. And then of course, it's gonna work with wireless charging as well. Now the silicone case comes in navy, cream, lavender, orange, and the one shown here is green. Now I'm really liking the silicone case. It's got a really nice soft touch material on the outside, almost like a velvet material on the inside. Pretty simple to just snap onto the phone. This one appears to have a little bit better side protection for the screen than the clear case. The lip definitely sticks above it on the top and bottom. Perfect cutouts there on the back for the cameras and flash. A little bit darker logo there towards the bottom. I probably like this one the best as far as how it feels in the hand. Power and volume buttons stick out plenty. You can see they're a little bit darker color. They've got some nice tactile or clicky feel to both the power and volume buttons. And they're just really easy to use. Maybe just a tad sponginess to them, but I like how they feel overall. I definitely don't see any problems there. You've got a nice oversized cutout for the charging port and S Pen as well. There is no cutout for the SIM card, but I don't feel like people are going to have to get to that very often. And the nice thing about all these cases, once you put the case on, the phone doesn't rock anymore because of the cameras on the back. So if that bothers you, it's a pretty easy fix. Just put any case on there and it should fix that. 
with the case on. The phone weighs 272 grams. Just the case by itself, 34 grams. And then of course it works with wireless charging. Overall, pretty nice silicone case here. I kind of wish they had more colors to choose from, but overall, nice quality. Now, one of the more interesting cases from Samsung is going to be their silicone grip case. Comes in two different colors, white or the one shown here is black. Looks more like a dark gray in person though. On the inside is a super soft, again, sort of like fell or suede material. Nice and soft silicone material on the outside. Then you can see it's got a hand strap here. Nice green accent on this one. You can also adjust it here on the inside to make it a little bit tighter or looser. You could even take this all the way off if you wanted. Downside to that is then you've got two open slots. Probably just going to collect dust or dirt in there. The other thing to keep in mind is because of that strap on the back, it's not going to be flat at all when you lay your phone down. Just because of how far the strap sticks out. On the back of this, design wise looks really good. Small Samsung logo there towards the bottom. Has a nice lip on the top and bottom. There in the side it feels like it's about flush with the curve on the edge. Slightly darker silicone material on the buttons. The buttons work pretty good on here. They do have a little bit of sponginess to them, but they work really good overall. And the buttons stick out plenty, so they're easy to locate without looking for them. Nice oversized cutout for the charging port, similar to the other Samsung cases. Nice and easy to get to the S Pen as well. Overall, it just has really nice grip on here, just like the regular silicone case. It's a little bit heavier, weighing in 294 grams. The case itself weighs 56 grams. One downside is it's not gonna work with wireless charging unless you can tuck the wireless charger underneath the hand strap. Seems pretty sturdy using the hand strap as well. Even though I like the look of this, just not quite sure if I'll get used to having this hand strap in the way all the time. So the official screen protector, it's just the cheaper flimsy material. I'm okay with that since it's a curved screen. So as you can see, it comes with two different ones. Inside the box, you've got a cleaning cloth, cardboard, little squeegee, and then you've got dust removal stickers. The little plastic piece should make it a little bit easier to get everything lined up. Not really the best instructions. It does say to power off the phone first. I'll just go ahead and wipe it down real quick. Then it looks like you just line up the little notches here at the bottom. Obviously you want to remove the part that has number one on it first. And then just kind of lay this down. I would line it up so it's centered with the camera. You can see already I've got some bubbles here. Not really sure why, but you should be able to just kind of work those out. Then you should be able to peel the backing off. Okay, yeah, this is definitely not as easy as it looks. For me, I feel like this has way too many bubbles. Yeah, to me, that's way too many bubbles. So I might have to try the other screen protector. Otherwise, if that one's the same way, I'll probably just use a different brand. Good thing is, looks like the fingerprint scanner works pretty good on here, even with the screen protector on. So you definitely shouldn't have to worry about that. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.